Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, like the video, subscribe, and comment down below. Raising Cane's truly elevates football season to the next level with their cook-to-order chicken fingers, crispy, crinkle-cut fries, buttery Texas toast, and their signature cane sauce. Their tailgates are craveable. Chicken fingers are perfect for tailgating with the whole crew before, during, or after the game. Don't forget to check out the new Varsity Retail Collection. This gear makes it easy to cheer on your favorite chicken finger team and keeps you looking fresh all fall long. Game days are better with Cane's. Head on over to RaisingCane's.com to plan your game day victory meal. Okay, new episode of BFFs. Uh, get We were off last week, right? You were? Yeah, we're back. Okay, so we're back. Um, La Del Rey marries Alligator Tour Guide. One month after denying a relationship with Alligator Tour Guide, Jeremy Dufresne, Lana Del Rey married Jer Jeremy in Louisiana on the same bayou where he runs his swamp boat tours. Jeremy's ex fiance Kelly Welsh told Daily Mail she was shocked by his marriage because they were engaged for 12 years. And he got married in one month. Oh, oh. damn. Oh, Hi, well, you're, you're not engaged, hurts. by the way, if you're engaged for 12 months. That's not an engagement. That's fake. 12 years. Yeah. That's, that's just your, I mean. But maybe he couldn't, maybe he couldn't afford it. And then Lana came along and she's like, I'll pay for everything. What no, do you, like, uh, what do you mean? Couldn't afford I don't it. Know. I'm just but, trying, I'm just trying to make the lady feel better. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's yeah. that's tough. But that's I mean, that's not an engagement for 12 years. You're never getting married. So I don't feel <laughs> that bad for her. Uh, him, her, her, not her. a real engagement. Yeah. I'm a little out of my brains out of it. Um, Did I just see you were drinking like a pumpkin spice latte or something over there? No, it's just, I mean, there's just a mug that we got, but it's just a normal coffee. It's an iced coffee I made myself. Oh, okay. I just saw the wow, frothiness. Crap. It looked like. No, it. nothing no fall about it. Nothing fall okay. about it. Just black. Oh. All right. Yep. Um, I do like fall. I'm a fall guy. Like I'm gonna try to mix in some apple picking this weekend, but okay. Are you a pumpkin spice guy when it comes around or not? Nah? No. Wow. I, try. I, I used to be hardcore May fifth to October fifteenth. Like May fifth to October fifteenth would be iced coffee and then October fifteenth hot and it didn't matter if they mixed in a ninety five degree day on October seventeenth. Once you go, I would stick to it. But doesn't really make sense now because why why october 15th just felt right that felt like when the days would change okay 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 right. doesn't really work anymore uh is that is that uh the big lebowski cup oh my cup no yeah. my my cup i think it's made a feature before in the show my cup is the stan lee cup and it's a bunch uh, of pictures of stan, oh, stan lee. lee yeah i thought it yeah. was i thought it was the big stan lebowski yeah um but now that I live in Miami, it doesn't make much sense because it's hot there. So I'm pretty much iced coffee year round now. Yeah. Uh, Charlie DeMello on Broadway. Charlie DeMello make a Broadway debut this October for a limited three month run in Juliet Jukebox Musical. Fans are immediately cautious due to Charlie's singing abilities, but Broadway World announces her role will be a dance heavy role as part of the ensemble. Um, well, that certainly affects it. I mean, I, I would think really Broadway would be like singing and dancing. Well, remember she put out a song. Yeah, she so I thought she, she was sing. singing dance. I thought they were going to say she was killing it. But people are mad because she's technically not a singer, and people like work their whole lives to be on Broadway. That's stupid. That's that's just stupid. If she can do the, if she can do it, she can do it. That that's like when uh, you hear this in golf. I feel like we've used it. Like a golfer will get an exemption. Like she's not taking your job. There's a lot of jobs on Broadway, so that's stupid. That's true. And she can dance, like, really well. Yeah, yeah. I feel like she's a dancer. I mean... 100%. Um, and it sells tickets. Political party attempted to pay Tana for endorsement. On a recent canceled episode, Tana revealed how she's offered millions of dollars to endorse a specific candidate in the upcoming election and was shown a list of hundreds of other influencers who allegedly had been offered the same and accepted. Fans believe... Tana was offered money by Republicans. She could publicly stated she was a Democrat and voted for Kamal Harris in response to Brooksville tweets. Fans believe one of the influencers paid is Bryce Hall because he recently joined Trump on stage at his rally. Yeah. I saw that story, and the first thing I thought was millions of dollars to endorse someone. I doubt it. Maybe yeah. if it's Trump. I don't know. No, because I mean, Bryce isn't getting paid. Yeah, I you doubt know it. that for sure. Bryce, for a fact, isn't getting paid, and I know that. He's an idiot. He should have tried to get paid before he did it for free. 
Uh, yeah, but- it, it, it's also like against the law to not disclose that. I'm pretty sure. Like, if you're being paid to endorse, I'm almost positive you have to be like you have to be like oh, I'm paid. This I'm is paid for. Them. Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. Paid for. Um, maybe there's like an element of they offered her to run like ads or something but i to be like i endorse this person i don't know that seems pretty pretty not real yeah i it just to me i'm like and this no no offense to tana but like it, it would be the same to bryce why would i go pay bryce hall or tana millions of dollars to endorse me that just seems like the wrong way to spend millions of dollars i would agree with that i also just this little part like <laughs> Tana being like, I'm voting Democrat and Kamala Harris because of Brooks' old tweets. Like, all right, what does that have to do with anything? Like, what does that prove? All right. <laughs> Good. Like, that almost seems like a knee jerk. Um, yeah, I don't believe that. Bryce, imagine paying. I would vote Kamala probably. And I'm if somebody could prove Trump paid millions of dollars to Bryce Hall to endorse him, I would be like, that's so stupid. I now have to vote the other side. Like you're paying Bryce Hall. He's who you pick millions of dollars to vote. All right. Well, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So I guess I got to vote. Anybody that stupid, it may change my worldview. That may change my worldview. No, those are the. That's what it takes. I mean, both, both Tana and Bryce are probably the last people like in, in, when you think about it, like that, uh, presidential campaign would be like that's our those are our people (laughs) yeah we need them we need them to back that will that will push the votes like i think i think tan is influential though people do whatever she says do they like her fans on her podcast if she was like go vote for this person i do think that she would influence a bunch of people but bryce hall i don't think he would influence many people too how many people of tanis crowd is like a voting age a lot i would say Really? Yeah. I mean, when I when we went to the canceled podcast tour in New York City, I would say everyone was at least like 20. Hmm. I would think she, yeah, maybe. I mean, she's been around for a while. I, I, Tana is a very unserious person to me. That's yeah. the only reason why I think it's so crazy to go to people like that for this presidential election stuff. Like, to me, it doesn't. It just, it never made sense to me when I see social media influencers or people that are like entertainers online, when people go to them for their like information about who to vote for, it's just like, those aren't the people you should probably be going to information for, right? Like there's better people to go listen to or like better places to go do your research than random TikToker 11 that's going to like have their own opinion from probably their parents or trickle down from like the last 20 conversations they've heard. Like it just doesn't seem like the person to get you. Or Tana who got like hit with one of those stethoscopes that like a doctor, you hit someone on the knee and it like goes up. It's like, Oh, my, my podcast partner said something racist. I'm voting Kamala. Like, (laughs) I don't know. That's like how you form your opinions. Yeah. Um, Anyway, Chris and Cavallari and Mark S. a split on Alex Cooper's Call Her Daddy live show. Alex revealed that Chris and Cavallari was recently splitting, after, uh, recently single after splitting with Montana Boys member Mark S. after seven months. I, I got to be honest. I think we all saw this one coming. Oh, 100%. Miles away. It was one of those ones that you knew was like, oh, let's have a little fun for a couple months. Yeah, well, a close source said that Kristen broke up with Mark because the relationship had run its course and never was supposed to last forever. Yeah, she just wanted to fuck a really young, hot, good-looking guy. Good for her. Yep. Good <laughs> Good for her. I don't know. The Montana boys may be on their last legs. I don't know. Uh, do they even have any legs left? Yeah. What, are they still We're doing talking Montana about boys? them right now. Hey, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just one, just one. Like, are they still doing videos? I don't know. I was never. I, I am proud to say the Montana boys never found their way onto my algorithm. No, they weren't. <laughs> they weren't really in my for you page either. So, I don't know. I uh, actually, need, I need to fix mine because it's actually become an issue where it's like now when I'm scrolling through, I can't even find ideas or audios anymore. It's just football. Just football and golf. That's my entire for you page. Football highlights. And then after that, golf highlights. 
So, bro. I learn how to have a perfect swing and watch the That's my for you page. I am so deep in Caitlin Clark algorithms that wow. I know everything it's about all everything. Edits, yeah. <laughs> it's like oh. just every clip I see is about Caitlin Clark, other players in the league, everything. It's just, and even that the season's over, it's still doing it. I think because I watch them all, I can't like resist watching. Yeah. I know more about her than ever, and, and the W in general. And then it kind of leaks into politics because there's still like this whole race issue around her. So uh, not her doing in like, but just her it's existing. crazy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Chappelle Rome pulls out of a music festival after online hate. A day prior to the first day of the All Things Go, Ironic. All Things Go Festival in New York City. Chappelle Roan announced on an Instagram story should not be performing because she needs to prioritize her mental health. Chappelle is now receiving backlash for canceling so last minute because fans who spent money for tickets to travel to see her are unable to cancel their arrangements last minute. Um, this is coming She's after Chappelle Roan faced backlash for not wanting to endorse a candidate because there's problems on both sides. Shouldn't... She she canceled a like this quite This is a what bit she looks shows. like? Yes. You don't know what Chapel Rome looks like? I've never seen her look like the girl next door in that bottom eye. She's always been like kind of dolled up when I see her. Well, she mm. usually does like the big theatrics makeup and um, yeah. costumes and stuff. That's a very intelligent answer she had about endorsement i have so many issues with our government every way she says there are so many things i would want to change so i don't feel pressured uh to endorse someone there's problems on both sides encourage people to use your critical thinking skills use your vote vote small vote for what's going on in your city the change she wants to see in the u.s this election year she says instantly it's trans rights they cannot have cis cis people making decisions for trans period it's an intelligent answer yeah i mean i i don't know why it seems that she faced backlash for saying there's a problem on both sides, so I'm not going to endorse anyone. Yeah, but I'd be ripped shit if I bought tickets. Yeah, my friend bought, because it was a festival, so my friend bought tickets. Bree's really, li you're leaning into crazy Bree today, huh? <laughs> it, they, uh, they are. Boston's trying to get stump. It's like a whole thing. They chase each other. But my friend spent like, like eight hundred dollars for on flights, and then like eight hundred dollars on tickets, and then she canceled two days before. And people yeah. were only going to the festival to see Chapel Rock majority. Yeah, I mean it's not a. It, it's like she's refunded. the only one I really understand. Yeah, I get. I think Chappelle Rome, and I, I'm not like a fan of her music as much as Bree thought. I've only seen her in our stories on BFF. She should have been that painter who nobody knows who he is. Right. Right. She doesn't seem to like the the Attention. like the spotlight. Genuinely yeah. not like it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not like fucking around. Like genuinely not like it. So I don't know how you do that. I mean, obviously you can wear a mask, I guess. You could always have like those DJs yeah. used to do it. Didn't like, like Marshall. Like, Sia? Sia had that little like hair thing. Is that am I thinking of the right person? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You can go down hidden, but it's tough. I feel like nearly every time we read a headline about her, it's something where fans are mad at her about doing something. If it's like, yeah, it's mental issues. Or oh, time out. I like Janelle Monet. She's performing. I'd go for her. She's mm. fire. Mm. Yeah, Renee Rapp, too. I don't know who that is. Um, but a uh, like, majority of people were really going for Chapel Round. Dang. And you don't get refunded because it's um, a festival. Yeah, yeah. it sucks. Uh, Costco shuts down Diddy's lawyer's claims. Diddy's lawyer, Mark Inge of whatever, claimed that Diddy had thousands of bottles of baby oil because of big house and buys in bulk. Mark suggested Diddy bought the bottles at Costco, saying, I think they have Costco in every place at home. Costco responded to these claims saying they do not sell baby oil in any of the United States locations. Oh, <laughs> Costco does not want to be associated. No. How does Costco not sell baby oil? Yeah, it, that's the, I feel I like that might be wrong. This, and I did wonder... Is it baby oil like everywhere? I thought it was at every single grocery store. Walmart but type maybe store. it's because Costco does bulk. Like they don't sell singular things. So maybe they don't have bulk baby oil. Maybe they got to have bulk baby oil. You think I mean, they did would? He, did he, he found a way? Did. did he found a By way? By the way, I don't care Costco. I'm not like, oh my God, Costco, you're partly responsible. Yeah, like, it's who fucking your cares? Fault. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we'd all be like, oh, you guys can't be carrying this much baby oil. That's what led to these issues. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't know Diddy was going to come in and get it all. 
it almost makes me think Costco's like in on it the way they responded <laughs> yeah. so angrily. So yeah, defensive. trying to like point their fingers at other people here, being yeah. like, it "Can't be us. It's impossible for it to be us." A uh, man shoots his shot with girl who said timing wasn't right. A man shot a shot with a woman three years after she said she needed three years because their timing wasn't right. The woman said she's now engaged with twins of the way in Paris. That's too bad. This guy That's and the girl bad. that had to wait 12 years for an engagement just to get called off. They should get together. Oh, that's a good setup. Yeah, Lana Del like Rey's uh, husband's ex and this guy. They should. They should. This girl I, didn't have to respond like that, though. No. I thought. I thought. I thought this is gonna be a happy ending when i was reading it like she was so moved that he put it in a tickler file like and on three years to the day she said three years he's like i've been waiting for you for three years that she was gonna be moved so i thought that would be cool yeah only in the movies and the shows yeah oh i already see it, the, the subject that's making me a little uncomfortable um squatters <laughs> in california this is not the story squatters in california have taken over a mansion a multi-million dollar mansion be uh, belonging to film producer son of the phillies owner john powers middleton has been taken over by squatters this is the second property in the hollywood hills has been taken over it's reported that every time police clear the property is taken over again within a few hours i don't understand the, the squatters I don't, I don't understand like i, I don't know. I don't understand why there's like these laws. I I don't know a lot of the subject, so I haven't like researched it. I've only seen these videos and clips like this, but I don't understand why there's laws like allowing these people to do that and you can't kick them out of the, your own house. Every time we that call the police, insane. they'll come, they'll clear it out. And then within an hour or two, five or more people are there and staying the night. Why don't you have like, if you own a mansion, why don't you have like security? Security, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you not paying for people to stand out there and make sure no one gets in? Yeah. Your room? Or if, like, if how do you, you have care like about the mansion? Yeah. And why, why are you just leaving it vacant with like everything smashed? They're not taking care of it. Obviously, people are going to go into it. Yeah, strange. Um, this is the next story I don't like. Mark Zuckerberg's new style. I saw a video of him today coming out somewhere trying to look like a cool ass guy. I, I was like, Ugh. Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> is going viral for his style transformation and glow up. Look at him with the chain and the baggy shirt. Hey. I think glasses are going to be the next major computing platform but he still talks but like a fucking <laughs> platform doesn't tend piece of fucking nerd place the old one. like he right, can't so, take yeah. i guess the, the version he's an he, he's just uncomfortably he nerdish i don't care what he does i don't care his chains his watch he sounds like the guy in the social network who is uncool unpopular and getting bullied at least he still sounds like that you know, he should just be authentic and lean into being a nerd and just like yeah. dress, be him. That, that made just... me feel better, that video. Yeah, the glass is going to be. That <laughs> made me feel better. What? Like, what is your. Why do you hate him so much? Because people just say because I look people like say him. Look I thought like he was him? an ugly nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, has he ever. Have you ever talked to him? Like, no, just, no. How would just... I talk to Zuckerberg? <laughs> <laughs> you just like, how do you like to be nerd? compared to somebody you don't think is good looking? Yeah. It's like, you look like that guy, except he's got know, but, billions. But then you're just like, you ugly fucking nerd. I thought you guys had some unspoken beef or something. I didn't no, know you just no. hated. No, he's the my physical comparisons. appearance rival. He's my bad <laughs> doppelganger. And now he's Shouldn't trying to be, be like, be happy cool. he's swagging out? You should be happy he's like getting swagged no. out. No. No, because then Dave has to step it up. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> uh, I'm up. getting yeah. uglier and fatter and grosser, and he's getting like better looking and like, <laughs> but I hadn't heard him talk like that. He's trying to like surf and like do weird shit. When he was straight nerd, it was a lot like, oh, he's a fucking nerd. I don't know who post nut anxiety is. We're using post nut anxiety as a, as a, <laughs> like, what are we doing? As, here? A, as our source? news source? That's our source. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, post nut anxiety on Twitter said Mark Zuckerberg's getting glow up has been one of the most unsettling signs of the apocalypse. Amen, post nut anxiety. <laughs> oh. Uh, Kaya Gerber wears mom's 1993 Oscar dress. That's fucking awesome. So she just keeps them all in the archives and then the daughter gets to wear them. That's pretty cool. Wait a minute. Is she on the far right? Yeah, that's Cindy. She's, on the Cindy's in the middle. She's far right. It's crazy yeah. how much they look alike. It's insane how much they look alike. Holy shit. Yeah. This is coming out of interview a clip of Kai and her co-star Corey Michael Smith went viral after they claimed they were soulmates. This has stirred up speculation that Kai and Austin Butler may have split. Well, yes, they did. They split. 
But I thought this guy, her co-star is so obviously gay. Oh, well, then maybe not. I thought that was like very apparent it, in the video. Maybe I'm yeah, wrong. Yeah, you. I feel like gays are, you're quick to be like, oh, he's my soulmate if he's gay. A yeah. little more reserved if he's Have straight. you guys seen the clip? I think you'll be like. Yeah, let's see the clip. It does feel like a family. Well, first of all, we're soulmates. Jason has introduced me to my soulmate. We had an amazing time. Yeah. So when we were first shooting, you know, the when the movie starts, we have this long, long wonder where you sort of introduce yeah. everybody. We were waiting off set in a separate spot for like 10 hours. So we became like best friends very quickly. You're standing like you did in the movie. Yeah, well. <laughs> I mean, I just have to touch it. We go right, right back to our blocking. Yeah, no, it's true. We really got to bond. And like, by day one, I, I knew everything about his childhood. He knew it's about true. mine. It yeah, was, yeah, yeah, we went deep. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent convinced he's gay. Really? I can't. My, oh, my gaydar says gay. Yeah. I don't want to like say that though. I thought he was 100 percent gay. That's why I said it. No, I mean there, there's a sprinkle. There's a sprinkle in there that's a little. Can we just Google it? Like, has he had a boyfriend? Yeah, he came out in 2018. Oh, yeah, he's, he's gay. So good. All right. Yeah. I My knew gaydar's it. good. I the radar, the gaydar was beeping. I had a little feeling. Okay. Then yeah, that has nothing to do with the other guy. So yeah. All right. We should have known that. Uh Charlie XCX brings out Addison Ray and spits on stage at a concert. Charlie XCX and Troy Sivens co-headlining tour sweat tour kicked off the atmosphere is so insane that Charlie XCX almost threw up on stage. <gasps> I didn't know that. You think it's from the atmosphere? Or do you think she just maybe like had one too many shots before going yeah, out? Yeah, who knows? Jumped around and then almost threw up. <laughs> Addison, they say she lip sync. I don't know anything about any of this. Don't really care. No. Lord came care? out too. That's that's pretty crazy though. Lord came out because they used to beef, and then they worked it out on the remix, and she brought her out in New York City. Who used to beef? Lord and Charlie XCX. Lord and Charlie XCX. Yeah. We made a whole song about it. Yep. Nice. Game time. We love getting out to live events, whether it's a concert, football game, or a comedy show. And we always use Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barcelona Sports. You know how much you love Game Time. Now with their brand new Game Time Picks feature, they're making it even easier to get to a game. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats. You don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. That's looking at tickets as low as 138 for Patriots game, October 6th against the Dolphins. Truth be told, you may want to wait. Those could be the two worst teams in the league. It may get even lower. Just pull up your chosen event, turn off the GT pick setting at the top of the screen, or browse the best local game time pick deals near you on your game time app homepage. What are you waiting for? I'm going to buy those Patriots tickets now with game time picks. I'm going to wait. Two worst teams in the league. But Michigan, Washington this week in Washington. Now that's a big ticket. That's a great game. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets to Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account. Use code BFF for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account. Redeem code BFF for 20 bucks off. Download the Game Time app today. What is it? What time is it? Game Time. Camilla Cabello rejected skims. Interesting. Is that rumor suggests that Camila Cabello rejected working with Car Kim Kardashian's brand Skims? It's also speculated that she was in Fifth Harmony at, that she was in Fifth Harmony at the 216 VMA. She rejected a picture with Kim Kardashian because of Taylor Swift. The rest of Fifth Harmony still took a picture with Kim. Okay, Ooh. Camila Cabello. You like Camila Cabello. Camila Cabello. Okay, it's about time we had somebody step up and have a spine. Mm. Mm. Camila Cabello. Good for you. We got Taylor Swift coming up in Miami in a few weeks. I don't know what night I'm going. I've been trying to get like. How many nights is it? Three. Well, Friday, you Saturday, bang Sunday. Them all out. Why don't you hit them all? No, I got to travel. We got football and stuff. So I'll hit one. I got to get the jacket. Um, mm. I thought the Eras Tour. Am I crazy? I thought the Eras, Eras Tour was tour over. never ends. Like actually, when is there a date in sight for it to end? She has got to be tired. She's a machine. So what? Does it just continuously go around the world over and over again? Yes. Forever? Forever. Forever. <laughs> forever. This, I think it's a never-ending era. A new album she adds, get new era forever. I'm actually wearing Oh, so sweat. you think it's just going to keep every, every album, it's just going to keep going and adding the new era? Never ends. Wow. Anybody on this podcast want to say anything about Taylor Swift? What do you mean? What do you mean? Just endorse her, maybe? I, I, I'll i endorse Taylor Swift. Yeah, me too. Okay, good Uh good. Chinese I think Zoom I'm actually going painting to a Taylor Swift concert. What? I think I'm actually going to a Taylor Swift concert. Which one? 
in November in Toronto. See, worldwide. Uh, Chinese zoo caught painting dogs to look like pandas. Sorry, Dave. I was asking. No, go what? ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That's all good. We can skip I what I have to say. Who cares? No, no. I, no, I was. Go. That's I'm just. Uh, I think I'm going to be up there while it's happening. And I, I love Toronto. Toronto. Why yeah. Toronto? What? Why Toronto? Because my friend lives in Toronto. Oh, okay. Cool. I yeah. love Toronto. Great city. Great city. China, Chinese zoo caught, count, uh, caught painting dogs to look like pandas. I don't <laughs> hate this move. That is awesome. That's awesome. I, I, you know what? I think if I showed up and I saw dogs painted as pandas, I don't think I'd be that upset. No, I'd be more I excited. I'd feel like uh, I was. I'd be like, ah, I still want today. It's a panda. I got dog. a bunch of cute little dog pandas. Oh yeah, I like this. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'd have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you there's so no obviously idea. dogs. No, I would have no idea. <laughs> really? you, they're yeah, would, this big, and they're walking on four. Their dogs. tongues are like hanging Pan, out. Pandas walk on four. What are you talking about? But like they're like not built like dogs. Yeah, pandas they're are more baby. Pandas. Those look like baby pandas. No. I think you guys are mistaken. I think if you went to a zoo, they said this is the panda. <laughs> we have new baby pandas, and you saw them. You would be unless they barked or something. Maybe. I, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's a real panda. That's a real panda. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you guys. Oh, no, I see what you mean. They are pretty close. Can yeah. You go, can you go back? Yeah, you guys wouldn't know. Honestly, maybe not. No shot would you guys know. Ah, uh, no. The ta that's a, I don't know. Yeah, I get. I guess the tail I think might that's be a, a little dog. weird. But don't right? pandas have tails? No, like that's that a dog. Tail just going up their back. Yeah. If I'm a kid, like, but if, that's if a panda. you had no idea, mm, mm. if I had no idea, you're right. It, it might go over my head. Uh, Nina Agdal, Logan Paul, welcome to their first child. Congrats, Demi Wait, Lovato, they had a Jimmy. Baby? What? They had a baby. Yes. I didn't even know yeah. she was pregnant. Yep. Wow. Crazy. I feel like she All was right. pregnant for like two and a half years. She was. Congrats. Felt that way. It felt like she was pregnant forever. Yeah, like an elephant. Not saying she's Congratulations. An elephant. Congratulations. Elephants are pregnant yep. for two years. Okay. Demi Lovato, Jimmy Fallon go viral for video cut. Demi Lovato, Jimmy Fallon went viral for video cut while Demi is talking about her new documentary, Child Star. This was this was crazy. I was watching this late at night and I was I was I've, I haven't I seen, seen it. this. It's just the cut scene. It's so alarming. Fame is a privilege, but it's also traumatic to people who, of, well, anybody. It can be traumatic to anybody, but specifically minors. And I think that it was interesting talking to the participants of the film because I noticed that there were chunks of memories that, or chunks of times that we all don't remember. And I think Oof. that's a direct response to trauma. Yeah. And, and and what what what's out there that can be done or is what? being done right now that we need that's to That's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> that's unbelievable. Why is he covered in slime? Like, I have no idea what to expect. Uh, how do you not clean up from the last bit before moving into a conversation that is this heavy of a topic? Deepest combo. Unbelievable. I had I like no that. idea what I was expecting. Crazy. She looked amazing, by the way, there. She looks really oh, good. She looks like she so, does. Like, way healthier than the last time I've seen it. Like she looks great. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to watch the child star. What a what a clip that was. Uh Lady Gaga reveals why she never denied she was a man. <laughs> Lady Gaga said she was in her early twenties. There's a rumor she was a man in almost every interview she was asked about. It. Gaga finally reveals she never set the record straight, saying she won't want a kid going through the same thing as her to look at public figure and feel shame. Gaga also said there have been many times in her career while fixing, where fixing rumor wasn't the best interest of other people, seeing the lies printed about her for years are kind of funny. Okay, I, that's good logic. I love that. Yeah. yeah. She's an icon for that. She didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Yeah. Uh, Margot Robbie and Jacob Ellibri to star in a movie together. <gasps> what? Wow. This is awesome. Sorry, you guys aren't excited about this? No, I could care less. I'm not like a huge um, consumer of romance movies. 
I have like, a good well, romance, but I like, just love Margot Robbie and I love Jacob Elordi. And this is like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Yeah, they for both me, exist personally. for me. Like, I'm not. Not a Margot Robbie guy? No, I'm, I'm not not. And I'm not not the Elordi guy. Like, I, I but I'm not. Well, his name's Elordi. Elordi. Like, I'm not. They both just exist. Right. Okay. So, yeah, you're not jazzed about this. It's not, I'm not well, negative. I'm not positive. They're both you're, just. You're not running to your seat in the theater to go see a movie when these two are. Who would you yeah. Who would you guys run for to, to the theaters to see for a romance movie? Like, who do you guys romance? want to see kissing? I mean, I. I it's more. I, I don't want to say run to the movies. Well. Like, it's the guy who makes all those roommate, the, the movies that like. Um, Glenn Powell. No, it's the it's the it's the guy who makes them. Oh, Nic- you're talking Nicholas about like the director's Sparks books. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, he, he well, like what's the one they go on vacation? Um. He does the Batman like musical. Oh, you mean oh, the Dra- Dracula? Dracula. Uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah. Who's the guy who made that? Oh. Um. Jason Siegel. Is that his name? No. He's, he's in the it. Actor. Oh, he's the actor. Sorry. Um. It, Nicholas it, Stoller. No, maybe I got the wrong guy. I thought the guy who did like that movie did like Forty Year Old Virgin. Did like Forty Year Old Virgin. Yeah, like Apatow makes romantic comedies that I generally find very funny. Right. Okay. Okay. I feel like one of my favorites is um, I think it's Before Sunrise. Is the name? Yeah, Before Sunrise. Ethan Hawke. So if Ethan Hawke did another. Another romance, I'd go see that. Forgetting Sarah Marshall is one of my favorite rom coms. Uh, Meet the Parents, one of my favorite rom coms. I like rom coms as much as the next guy. Rom coms yeah. are good; they're good, feel good movies. Uh, Jeremy Allen White kisses new girlfriend on, Ros- on Rosalie's birthday. <gasps> well, I mean, you can't help but kiss your new girlfriend on your ex girlfriend's birthday. It's like you still got to kiss your girlfriend. It would be it would be almost really strange if you said, "Hey, we can't kiss today." <laughs> yeah, it's my ex's birthday, and just for her, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna not do anything today. Yeah, I feel like he has so many girlfriends so fast. Yeah, he loves it. He he's like someone who's waiting to become famous. He was the one constantly shirt off, muscles everywhere, wearing uh, Calvin Klein's way too old. <laughs> <laughs> Katy Perry's new album 143 flopped on September 20th Katy Perry released her first new album of four years 143 and fans and critics alike were disappointed Rolling Stone gave the album 1.5 stars said it was a failed attempt to rekindle her glory years that's mean oh that stinks Gosh. I didn't know she released a new album did you yeah, I I only knew because she did a huge performance at the VMAs and she was like hyping up the album to come out. And by the way, she looks fucking incredible. I don't know if you guys have seen her lately. She's like jacked with a six pack. And I don't like girls with six packs. All right, girls with six packs don't like you. Good. I don't like them. Yep, you guys can get along. <laughs> it's a little too much. Well, you want a girl with like a little pudge? No, I don't want a six pack to me means you see the abs. Ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just want what flat stomach? Yes. I mean, who doesn't? You ju- you like you like to see the abs, Josh? You know what? A little bit of like tone in the abs is kind of like look, most of the time. I'm like, damn, this girl's she gets after it. That shows like drive. That shows Dedication. initiative. Heart. You know, she's going to the gym. She's like taking care of herself. She's probably someone that's active. She's probably it's like, I don't. I think that's a good thing. Let me tell you, that wasn't your most ringing endorsement we've ever had on this show. I'm not. I, I, I'm i I'm pretty neutral on it, is what I'm trying I to th- say. I think most guys, if you did family feud, survey says, would you prefer, <laughs> for, prefer your girlfriend have ripped abs? Most guys would say they'd prefer not. Well, you're, you're going. You're intimidated. You're ratting now. You're saying ripped abs versus abs. Like a little bit of Are tonage. we talking like, so you, yeah, you, Dave, are probably like, jacked ass like see it through a tight like shirt muscle you man like. c-bum like because like i don't like that on a guy abs. yeah he likes know. no abs he wants nothing i prefer i mean i prefer no abs oh, yeah. um also for me it's like if a girl has abs it's like they're gonna be trying to get me to go to the gym that ain't gonna yeah, work for sure for sure i see that i see that's why i don't like it on guys Sabrina Carpenter's music video tied to new york city mayor indictment i saw a little i didn't go into it i what i don't I don't 
I don't know Sabri- this. In Sabrina Carpenter's Feather music video, she dances around in Brooklyn Church after men have brutally killed themselves for her. The video led to uproar causing the dio- diachese, di- 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 how do you say that? Diachese? I literally uh, don't know. Diachese uh, of Brooklyn to strip the Monsignor Jamie Gigavallo, who gave Sabrina's team filming approval of his administrative duties. The fallout from the video allegedly put the church in the radar of the feds who have been involved in corruption around New York City Mayor Adams, specifically the business dealings between Monsignor Jamie Gigavallo and Adams' chief, ex-chief of staff, Frank Carone. It's a lot. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Um Cardi B cheated on Offset. It seems that the reason Cardi B and Offset are broken up for good is because after the many times Offset cheated on Cardi B, Cardi B cheated back while she was pregnant with their child. Oof. I like it. There's something dastardly. <laughs> there's cheating, and then there's cheating while you're pregnant. Both sides worse. <laughs> I uh, mean, they're awful. That's awful to cheat while you're pregnant. But he cheated on her so many times where I feel like she's so petty. She's like, I have your child in me, and I'm yeah. going to cheat on you. And you know what? I, I don't hate it. Sia sings at Kathy Griffin's live show. Sia is being dragged on the internet after she sang live at comedian Kathy Griffin's live show. Many fans think Sia did not sound her best. Uh, I don't let's know. let's be the judge, I guess. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. You want Chandelier now? Yeah. <laughs> is that Sia? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. I think she sounds good. I know she sounds incredible. That was a little crazy. It was just probably that part. <laughs> like tomorrow doesn't exist. Like it doesn't exist. This, I yeah. mean, that's good. That's good. There's much to do about nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, streamer Valak Ray says Jason Momoa mistreated a Minecraft movie crew. In a YouTube video, streamer Val- Valky Ray revealed her worst celebrity experience with Jason Momoa while filming a Minecraft movie. Valk Ray says while shooting her cameo, J- Jason Mimosa mistreated some of the crew after a very intense scene. He was just really mad at them that they weren't doing something right, like setting up a shot and stuff. He was just angry. I, listen, I don't want some relatively no name ish i know she's big on social media but momo is uh shooting a movie you come in for a cameo and then you trash me like mm. you're there I, for a cup of coffee i get what yeah. you mean and it seems I mean, like she said the crew wasn't doing what they were supposed to be doing yeah like he was, he was mad about running a scene. the set yeah he probably doesn't even know who this person is no probably not but yeah yeah Anna Delvey booted from Dancing with the Stars after fa- facing criticism for being allowed on the show. This is one of those, uh, I said this, I was watching it. Uh, Steiny. This is a Steiny moment. Oh, like, okay. I didn't see this. Like, if you're on Dancing with the Stars, and they're like, who else is on it? And they're like, Anna Delvey is on it, then you can't be on it. <laughs> be- oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You're like, because what the fuck am I doing here? Yeah, this is a if she's like she's wearing an ankle bracelet. We're saying Anna Delve is a star. I'm a star. Now we're equal stars. I'm out. Get me out of here. Yeah. Yet she was the only one I was curious to see. Also, what did Amendola do? Amendola is is Danny Amendola, New England Patriots Super Bowl. Like I, I I'd say I'm acquaintances. If I see like Amendola out, I'd be hey, what's up, Danny? How you doing? Ple- exchange pleasantries. He brought Zandra to sit with him in the crowd and then said he was not dating Zandra. What are they doing? Maybe they're not dating. Then why do you bring her? Well, actually, you brought Cam to the Celtics game and you said you guys weren't dating. Bree, I wasn't <laughs> intending to be on TV for the billion of time oh if, that's true but maybe he like just he's on broader. he's she's sitting with his family on dancing with the stars i think it's a pretty <laughs> good bet they're gonna be on tv yeah like that's we fair. move seats that's fair that's fair brooks nader's dating her co-star okay don't big deal we already talked oh. about amandola travis kelsey's teammates show, show support they uh He's at a slow start, so they're wearing his shirts. Okay. Uh, Jerry Jones talked about players' dick sizes. This was funny. He took it down right away. 
So, oh, when Jamie Foxx went live, he said it in the yeah. back of it. Yeah, he started talking, yeah. Was he talking about a dick? I saw that people were saying he was talking about like a... Okay. Nine and three-inch head. Eight and a half-inch dick. Yeah. yeah I saw eight. Oh an eight-and-a-half-inch dig. Like no, dick. It. But, yeah, no, that does sound like dick. Jerry That's Jones, he'll tough. just start talking. That guy's just, that guy's he's something else. Uh, all right, BFF corner. I'm curious where this goes. <laughs> mm. Bree, I was saying this before I came up. It's like I don't even know how to do BFF because, like, you know what my algorithm actually is? It, it it's Caitlin Clark and you. Like that's yeah. Just... yeah this week has been pretty crazy. Or so last week. well, last two weeks, I guess, right? Because we didn't do <laughs> last week. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not horrible timings to have a little break. Yeah, that's true. So Zach does this tweet, Kanye better than Taylor, Eagles better than Chiefs, who's with me? Quickly deleted it, got rid of it, apologized for it. Where are we at with this? Idiotic tweet. You would You would actually be proud of me, Dave, because I only knew all this information because of you and BFFs. So I think Zach, t well, I know What do you Zach mean because of us and BFFs? Well, I'm going to tell you. Oh, okay. Um, I, think, um, I think Zach tweeted, well, I know Zach tweeted this just meaning musically wise. And uh, um, then I had to tell him like when he tweeted it, I'm like, you don't understand the weight of what Kanye did to Taylor. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, and I explained all of the recording stuff, all the Kim stuff, all the stuff that you always talk about that I only know from you and from BFFs. And he was like, that's why I'm getting so much hate. Like all this. He didn't like know the backstory of the Kanye Taylor like lore. He thought like it was just the Grammy stuff or yeah, it was the Grammy stuff or the VMAs, you, whenever that was. You got to be like not have internet for a long time, not to realize what beef's going on there. Well, I he really say, doesn't like do internet. I will say that I had, I didn't know anything really about the Kanye or Taylor Swift drama until Dave, you explained it to me as well. Like it was never something that really like yeah. crossed my timeline or I, I had known that there was beef, but I never really like known what it was about or what happened until you explained it to me. Yeah. And then I was like, and also Kanye is just not, the person like after all this year and the shit he said he's just not even besides from the taylor yeah. stuff like well yeah he's a nazi that's yeah yeah, yeah so he's I a nazi like, so and, and uh, so now, zach meant it musically and then i mean he was hammered when he tweeted it and i was like you get do you realize like the the reality of kanye not just music and i explained all put the taylor me in stuff. a box if we're being honest Mm. yeah i know well i know you're i know what you would say yeah like, well think. yeah and it's like you're boyfriend and then it's like everyone's up my ass by the way i am wearing a taylor hoodie so I, that's a credit to to my loyalty to you that i didn't that i bit my tongue anyone else says that and it's like i'm taking out the cleavers and i'm sharpening stuff and i'm getting yeah, ready I but know. i just i was kind of like scared. was like we'll see how this one pans out he should apologize to me too he should be like by the way dave's trying to go to miami and like <laughs> He he's he played a big factor in just keeping his mouth shut during all this. Brooke Schofield posted on TikTok. She wanted to know what Dave's thoughts were. By the way, you nobody needed to know my thoughts on on what is this? When he oh when, on the Taylor Swift stuff, I didn't even see that Brooke did this. I deleted TikTok yeah. for a while. Yeah, no, nobody knows you. Everyone, everybody who's remotely familiar with my existence knew what my thoughts were. I just yeah, didn't say everyone them out loud. knows what you're saying, what you were thinking. Correct. You didn't even you didn't even text me, Bree. Be like, can you not jump on this? I that was a really bad week for me. Like, I deleted all of my social media. Like, I was just not on it. And also, like the next thing, Zach Bree breakup rumors. Like, I don't like I don't want to speak for Zach, but he kind of spoke for himself on Instagram. But like, he's just going through a lot of personal shit, and uh, I feel like I'm taking the brunt of all of it. And um, you mean yeah, just like, online? You're taking the run to it yes like, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes so yes. so the next zach brie breakup rumors like what is there anything you want to say like what what is this there it was a it was a bad week where we i mean it's crazy we don't post each other for a week it's like a it took the internet by storm but he's going he's going through a lot of personal stuff and i went home and like just 
separated and I mean, we're together now and it's okay. Everything's okay. Can I ask you a hypothetical? Yeah. How many passes does he get from me if he attacks Taylor Swift publicly? How many this, times this do I have one. to? Yeah. So I'm asking if he does it again, can then I? Fair game. Okay. Yes. Fair the game. internet knows that. And that's the loyalty factor. Listen, Yeah. I'm not going to attack Bree's boyfriend when he attacks Taylor the first time. That's just how and it goes. He, he, and he, but he wasn't. It doesn't matter. Taylor. It doesn't matter. It doesn't I matter. His mu- it, 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 it. He picked a guy that, and that goes in that whole thing. He can't. He. It, I'm gonna. I'm gonna extend it. He can't. He can't be like you know. I really like that Kim Kardashian more than Taylor. That will. That 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 whole group. They're out of strikes. No, he would never say that. He would okay. never say that. Good. Um, you and Grace went on the canceled tour. Yeah, this was kind of an accident. Well, not an accident, but we were going to the canceled tour just to watch. And um, Brooke had asked if we wanted to go on. And we were like, um, yeah, but what would we talk about? And then uh, she just didn't respond because it was like show day. And I think things got busy. And then when we got there, they were like, okay, so you guys are coming on at this time. And we were like, whoa, whoa. But it was really fun. And the show was great. And we just came on for like a little segment for Got like uh, t- 10 minutes on stage. Hey guys, quick commercial break for Hey Dude. So Hey Dude is one of the fastest growing casual footwear brands in the country. I have seen these things forever. Actually, I'm in Boston right now in Massachusetts and all of my friends have been wearing Hey Dudes forever. And now I'm seeing them on like Sydney Sweeney. I'm seeing them on all these influencers. Everyone's wearing Hey Dudes. It's effortless style, ridiculously light and unbelievably comfortable. Uh, they're the core of the brand are those um, taglines. So putting an emphasis on comfort and style. Their core products are the Wally and Wendy, which provide a sleek and rockable design that can be dressed up or dressed down. So comfortable and very, very lightweight. You don't even feel like you have anything on your feet. So you can buy your Hey Dudes now at HeyDude.com and make sure to go check it out at HeyDude.com. Brie got a new car. Brie posted a new Ford Bronco and been trying to think of names for it. A little lighter. Betty, Betsy, Trixie, Billy, Bonnie, or Bertha. (laughs) Hmm. I didn't pick a name yet. Well, I I just want a B name because it's like a Bronco, you know? That's the new one, right? Yeah, I got a new one. No, I'm like, saying you, any- you were talking about getting one of the old ones at one point. Yeah, but the one, it was going to take like a year and a half. They take for the- forever. Yeah, I hold them and stuff too a lot of times. Like people are doing all the, you know. I have- And like you said, you needed to get, because I texted Dave because I know he has one or two like old Broncos, but I wanted it for like an everyday car. And you were like, you're going to need another car too. Well, I got a new Bronco just the other day. It was like, on. Like a new one? It, 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 it No. Uh, one of those custom ones had been waiting all summer it, and it, it is an everyday car. The one I got the new one. I'd never had one. I mean, I have the best car in America now. I haven't bragged because yeah, whatever what car, which one yeah, I have a new Bronco. It's fucking what? sick. So Why? did you Here's get the, the one you got the one where it's like old body and then they completely redo the inside. Yes. Yes. That's yes. what I wanted to yours, do, but it took it, a year. What did yours vintage Bronco? I thought that's who it was going to be. They DM yeah. me all the time and text me like, hey, we're coming up with this one. We're coming up with this <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, it's fire. I, I probably. So sweet. They're so sweet. What color did you get? I want to see it. It's, uh, I, I probably have it. Let me see here. I was going to say, is it vintage Bronco? That's so funny because they'll DM me and Gabby. I know. I wish, but they just take I think it's, so long. I they think take a while. Wait, it, yeah. There's a bunch of different companies too. You got to like watch out. Which one you get? These guys are good. I what got, color did you get? I'm trying to find it. Um, like I have pictures. I'll, I'll send it to you after. I don't know where it went. Um, like I think uh, LeBron just got one from them. Yeah, everyone's getting. I was in on them quick. You know. Um, all right, moving on. Dark, dark fantasy TikTok. The trend of TikTok is going around where AI makes popular movies look like dark fantasy. And TikTok used to do this trend with influencers Josh, Gabby, Charlie, and Dixie, Bryce, Addison, more were included. Yeah, it's just like us. Our faces AI'd on to like vampires, uh, the dark fantasy stuff. But it was pretty funny, actually, because Bryce was like this little troll goblin. So that really got to him. You know what I mean? Because he was just like this short little like garden gnome. Um, but it was, it was a funny, it was a funny, uh, 
funny little TikTok. Let's see if I'm still looking here. Uh, yeah, no, I'm never going to be able to find it. The Tempe edition caught fire. That was good. I rooted for that. <laughs> There's one thing not on here that I got to ask that I was also a low, and it's always Brie. Everything's always on my, to like Alex Earl fit. Is she, was that about you? Her not being friends with you anymore, but not telling you that she's not friends with you. She said it wasn't, but everyone's telling me it was. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I, I talked to Alex. Or, no way. I, and I don't know what you're talking about, actually. There was a video. Yeah. Of Alex Earl being like, I'm not friends with this person anymore. And it was viral. It was all over my thing. And everyone was saying, but she's like, I'm not going to tell this person I'm not friends with her. I'm just not friends with her. And she, everyone was Brie, Brie, because of the Ken Yurick stuff. The first yeah. comment from Alex was, it's not Brie. But everybody yeah, was no. saying it was Brie. Me and I've talked. No way. Alex was- and I like DM often. Okay. Then, yeah. I... Well, I found out that someone I was friends with, um, well, they don't know that I'm not friends with them anymore, but I'm not friends with them anymore. <laughs> um, I was informed that they were talking shit about me. And oh, yeah. No, never talk shit, shit about Alex like, I guess lies. By the way, I think you know, this is dog like, shit well, in no, general. This is true. It is dog shit in general. To go I, on that's a why podcast. That's why I don't even fucking say. Are you talking to Alex Earl or the other shit? I'm saying it's dog shit what Alex Earl just did. Like, uh, I don't like going on a podcast and saying I'm not going to talk about it. Or I'm not going to say this person's name, but you're talking about it. And everyone's just going to swirl and rumor. If you're going to talk about it, say who you're talking about. Or like you didn't actually take the high road because you're talking about it. Mm. And then people like, like, swirl yeah, swirl. Just stuff. if you're really going to be like, I'm taking the high road. I'm learning from my sister. I'm not going to mention it. Well, then don't mention it. That's fair. But no, Alex and I are friends. Okay, so we cleared that up. Uh, BFFs read comments, and then we're out of here. I was wondering this show, Bree. I was like, I don't know what we're going to expect. This is, yeah, you're the most <laughs> talked about person on the internet. It's nuts. Yeah, it's fucking At least crazy. in the BFF world. Like, Mine when I go to other to... worlds, people aren't asking me about it. But in this world, everybody. I know. I'm just fucking chilling. <laughs> oh, you'll like this, Dave. Dave doesn't look like Zuck at all. He's a sexy boat captain, daddy to the prettiest peaches. But it's a guy. Jay? Rene? Jay, Jay Rene? That could be a, a Frenchman? Rene. That sounds like a Frenchman. Yeah, it's like Rene. Rene. Oh, by the way, I, I have no it? problem if it's a guy. I've always said gays find me very attractive. I've always said that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Dave looks like Zuckerberg with makeup. It's fucked. <laughs> this is fucked. Fucked up There's person. Eight fat people. So. Yeah, well, good. I don't Already like bad. Josh's hair looks like a mustache on Lefeo. I can't stop looking at it. Oh, oh, I wore a hat for you today. Not so gray. Oh, it was like boom, boom. I, I wore a hat today just for you. I love Dave and his loyalty to his friends. Proven today. Proven very today. Proven. Very, very topical comments. To yeah. 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 It's good stuff. Josh has so much potential. Someone has to help him with a new. T- What's going on with this hairstyle? <laughs> they don't like. Did that you hair. have? I, I wasn't here day. last time. Did you have bad hair last episode? Like, I I might have just had like a bad hair day or something. I'm gonna just shave it bald now. Dave, would you rather have a daughter like Bree or a son like Josh? Laugh out loud and explain why <laughs> none of the deflecting bullshit just old classic parts of Dave. Josh, no doubt. <laughs> why? That's like the simplest thing ever. Bree, you're, I don't want my daughter in the fucking headlines left and right. I'd have to like kill somebody. That, that makes sense. I get why it's it's a double standard, but you got it's it's tough. Being a dad over daughter, you're gonna have more protective like stuff over your daughter than your son. Yeah, and right now you're like in the midst of so much shit. So it's like, I yeah, that that was an easy one right now. That was easy right away. Yeah. On the oh. next pod, ask Dave. I didn't. I didn't watch it. I wasn't. I wasn't watching nothing or paying any attention until <laughs> we cleared up this Taylor Swift shit. And you can't go in with with bad. bad Correct. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, no yeah, shot. That's fair. Watch it or else you, you have to. You have to watch it. I will watch it, but I wasn't gonna watch it in the mindset I was in. Oh, that's right. fair. That's fair. Oh, I found it's actually it. Actually, good. Right, I'll send it to you right oh, now. Oh, that's me. It's actually good. I had low hopes, to be honest. Good job, Bray. <laughs> Talking about the oh. music video. Yeah. I haven't been watching. Oh, go ahead. 
I haven't been watching for years, so I could be wrong, but do you guys ever do research beforehand? If not, it might be worth trying. I think that's part of the pod. I think we've already addressed that's the that. whole point. Yeah. hundred percent. Dave, longtime fan who would have been more likely to make it through the Milton days, Bree or Josh. I actually think they both would have. So by that, for people at home, Milton was a brutal place. I mean, imagine me being in the office, a little dingy fucking office like and Milton no windows. Barstool. Yeah, Milton tough. And it was just brutal, brutal. <laughs> like me all over people. But I, I both, I think Bree and Josh would have survived that. They both like have good senses of humor Josh. and don't really, you know can take a joke thank you thank you dave serious question i've ever been diagnosed with dyslexia <laughs> honestly i'm beginning to think there's something maybe to that a little bit i think there is something to that a little I think bit there definitely. could be too i think there could be maybe you just have so much i think you just have so much going on in your mind no I, i'm beginning to think there's something really to it uh, we'll see. Are you still like a, are you still like an Adderall guy or no? I've calmed down on it a little bit, mm. but I do like it. Do I you mean, have great Adderall to... prescribed because you have ADHD? No, I have a drug dealer. Hardcore. Cool. Um, so uh <laughs> I I will say I feel like Adderall can be one of those things that like your mind's moving really quick. If you're reading over something, you could stumble up words. Yeah, easy. I don't I don't use it. I haven't used it on this show in a long time. That's awesome. Good for you. Thank you. Brie, I've never had Botox before. I've seen multiple videos of her saying she has gotten Botox in the past. How can she lie easily and casually? I got Botox in my jaw. That doesn't, that, I got Botox in my forehead and talked about it. See, I can't even talk about shit or people get mad about me talking about it, but then they're mad if I don't talk about and it. And it's also really stupid because you've been pretty open about your plastic about surgery. Everything. So like, why are you like, hiding a Botox? Uh, that doesn't even fucking make sense. People just want to be mad at everything I do and say. I'm 1,000% convinced Dave's brain re reads too fast, and that's why he mispronounces his name stuff. His mouth can't keep up with how fast his brain is reading. Boom. I may have a superhuman brain. There's That's a possibility. I also have something, once I say something wrong once, it sticks. I really have a hard time getting off of it. I don't know. Hey, it's all right. <laughs> superhuman brain disorder. Josh is too smart for this. Well, thank you, Danny. Any disaster. Can we get an explanation why Dave hates fibula? Wah. <laughs> yes, please, because he texted me <laughs> and he's like, What did I do? <laughs> womp, womp. Something like that. First time I met Fibula was in the Hamptons. I was watching Florida State LSU, maybe football game at a bar. I was with Silvana Silvana and went to Florida State. That's why we're there. Um and he came up and acted like we're best friends, huggy, and hey, great. Just like, I don't even know who the fuck this guy is. <laughs> and I haven't liked him since then. And that's why. He came on too strong. He's too familiar. Like, I, I don't know you. Like, I I don't know you. Right. That's, that is who Connor is. So you aren't like that at all. So that makes sense that you guys wouldn't mesh. But I did. I, I remember when you first told that story and you said he came up and gave you a hug. And that's instantly where I was like, oh, that's where you lost Dave. You that's mean, yeah. you lost yeah. Dave within the first 30 seconds of meeting him if you give him a hug. That's <laughs> yeah. crazy work. That is like, crazy. I, I was racing my brain. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? I must, like, know him really well. Is, am I, like, dying? I can't remember him. No, I never <laughs> fucking met the guy. I had no idea who he was. It's like, what, what do you mean we're hugging? He's, like, rubbing my shoulders. Like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> He's just trying to fix the shoulder for you, man. <laughs> yeah. It's too, too, too much. Too familiar. Elbow above the head. Oh, that's oh. crazy. Love that. Hello, how are you doing? I'm looking for someone close to be a friend with benefits with. Nothing more than someone to pleasure with when I need to. Was this just e like a, a bot? We're putting bots on this thing now? Just wants a pleasure, a pleasurable <laughs> we're friend? Just, we're just letting Ekans' message get <laughs> put out there to all the fans watching? What's going on? <laughs> we're and trying to find them someone. I absolutely love how Dane, Dave, moves from topic to topic. We will all be laughing still at something. And then he all of a sudden goes straight face and is like, all right, page turns. Laugh my ass. <laughs> nice. I keep the show moving. That's accurate. <laughs> <laughs>
Dave and Josh's relationship actually makes me pee my pants and kick my feet. <laughs> They're so funny together. You should probably go get uh, some medicine for that or something because you should have more control over your bladder. Pee your pants and kick your feet is funny. <laughs> it is funny. I've never heard someone say that before. Pee my pants and kick my feet. <laughs> I'm going to use that, Skylar. That's funny, Skylar. Did you guys see the car? Oh, did you see uh, it? Uh, yeah, I'm I pulling sent it. it up right it's, now. It's, it's, you guys are going to be like, Ooh, yeah, this car Oh, that is epic. Yeah, it's fire. Oh, How much wow. does that car cost you? Can I guess? Uh, yeah. I'm going to say 210K. Yeah, it's right about there. I think it was like 230, something like that. Damn, I was close. Okay. Yeah, so this one you can't is an everyday car. It is an everyday car, yes. Because it's all like it's all I mean, new on the inside yeah, of the engine. It's pretty much everything on that is brand new. Yes, correct. That is absolutely 230. Sick. Man, that is it's a lot of money for a Bronco. <laughs> Ton. Ton. And not only that, it's like you can't, like Bree said, we sound like bougie champagne. You can't give it away. Like you, if you, someone's like, I want to go spend 230 and get this car, it's very hard to do. Like I had to wait forever for that car. Yeah. I can officially no longer watch this podcast. All right. See, we'll see yourself out. <laughs> the door's right there, Riley. Can we talk about how Grace isn't even part of BFF, but is still the best BFF person? Sorry, Bree. You're totally tied second. <laughs> she's oh. great when she's on. Grace is the best. Or does that put me in date? She Just she is she's part of the BF. She's like part. She's a BFF by adjacent because she's my BFF. She's a part of the lore for sure. Yeah. Leave it today. Pronounce moo wrong. It's literally one of the first songs you're taught as a child. Moo like a cow, Dave. Moo. I don't even know what that's in reference to. Moo dang. No moo dang. I didn't know. I, you don't know that things moo dang. It's like moo cow. <laughs> Why do I feel like people don't talk enough how much Dave has such an obvious crush on Addison Ray? Can someone who is younger please make a reel of this? I like Addison Ray. Wait, do you have an obvious crush on her? Is no, something I've never I like her. Up on? I like. I think I like. I like her as a person. Yeah, she's great. You do always say she's so nice and awesome, but maybe because it's so rare for you to say about people, people are like you love. Her. I had dinner, no lunch with her in L.A. Just me and her, no cameras, and she was like the nicest person. Mm. Yeah. That's it. That's that. All right. There okay. you go. BFF. Bye. BFFs. Happy Halloween. What? Yeah, it's not even close to Halloween. Like it's October way, 1st. Way it's premature. Spooky. It's it's October Happy 1st. Happy Columbus Day. <laughs>